pound of butter. Um, and what we're doing here is basically making a little room. Now we don't want to colour this at all, we just want to basically cook the flour out. A biscuity texture, what we're going to do is we're going to start incorporating our milk. It's important to have your milk hot. It um, helps it mix in and get a smoother texture as well. Don't add it all at once, just add it a little bit at a time. Keeping the bones and skin out of it. At a later stage you can add colder milk, but to begin with, I always look. As I say, you don't want the bones in there, you don't want the skin in there. Basically making a nice white sauce. What we're going to put in, we're going to add all our ingredients. Well, the ingredients for the fish pie anyway. So that one goes in there like that. Turn it down a little bit. And I'm not really going to cook all this fish out because it's going in the oven um, and it's going to carry on cooking in the oven, obviously. But a little twist I'm putting on it today is I'm using some feta cheese because I find it's got a lovely creamy texture it adds to the dish and the flavour also um, complements the dish quite. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some cream. So as you can see, um, when the cream goes in, again, it loosens it up a bit so you haven't got uh, a completely thick sauce. Now at this stage you don't want to play around with it too much because this, I don't know, I'm not a chemist, I'm not a doctor, but I do go with flavour and I know that it has got a much better table, flavour than table salt. So as you can see, um, that's pretty much our fish done. I'm going to add a little bit more milk to that. Goes in. Give that a little mix in. Then in goes our feta cheese. And we incorporate that as well. And that is that part of the dish done. And that's about it. Got a pot of boiling water on. And into that, I'm going to put my sliced potatoes. Though the potatoes have been boiling away for about half hour, just get a fork give them a little prick just to make sure that they are actually cooked and um, the next phase drain the water off. Turn the gas down. What we want to do add the butter add some milk Seasoning, of course. Again, you don't want to season it too much. So that's all been mashed nicely. And what we're going to do, you can use a piping bag if you like. I just like to use a spoon. Put it on the corners first. It's just what I've always done. Just give it a little bit of a pat down like that. The next thing we're going to do grate some cheese on it. So I've got some cheddar cheese, mature cheddar cheese here and we're just going to give it a lovely little bit of grating on top and that is now ready to go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees centigrade and we're going to let that cook for approximately about another half hour. The fisherman's pie is good to come out and there you have it. Fisherman's pie.